It is Thursday, August 13th, and this is CONCACAF Video Signals. Today on Video Signals, after yesterday's results, the CONCACAF Final Round World Cup qualifying table got a whole lot tighter. We'll take a look at the games. Join me on a trip around the Confederation, and then we end the show with the CONCACAF Quiz. We start with World Cup qualifying at the Azteca as Mexico made it two straight wins over the USA in two and a half weeks, defeating its rival 2-1, an 82nd minute goal by Miguel Saba, who was the top scorer at the recently completed Gold Cup, lifted El Tri to the victory. Saba finished an attack from Efrain Juarez down the right side. Juarez burst in from the middle past Landon Donovan to the byline, where Jay Demerit stepped out and knocked the ball away. But the rebound fell to Saba's feet just outside the six. He easily converted. Charlie Davies had put the visitors ahead in the ninth minute, beautifully finishing from the left after running onto a Donovan pass. It was his second qualifying goal. After the U.S. goal, Mexico began to take control, and it finally capitalized when Cuauhtémoc Blanco sent a simple square ball to Israel Castro. Castro took one touch and launched a long-range strike that eluded U.S. goalkeeper Tim Howard. The victory means that Mexico remains in fourth place, but now only one point behind the Stars and Stripes. In Port of Spain, Cornell Glenn scored in the seventh minute as host Trinidad and Tobago prevailed over El Salvador 1-0. Glenn capitalized after a poorly taken free-kick opportunity by El Salvador's Oseal Romero bounded away. Glenn raced down the left before finally beating Salvadoran keeper Miguel Montes. The result left both teams with five points at the bottom of the hexagonal standings with four games remaining. Two goals from Carlos Costly helped host Honduras to a 4 nothing victory over top of the table Costa Rica in San Pedro Sula. The Catrachos went ahead in the 30th minute when Costly scored off a pass from Elvis Tercios. Honduras doubled its advantage six minutes into the second half when Carlos Pavone scored in his third consecutive home WCQ. Honduras knocked in two goals at the end of the game through second-half substitute Melvin Valladares and then Costly added his second. A look at the standings show that Honduras has moved into second place on goal difference, two points behind Costa Rica. The USA drops to third, followed closely by Mexico. Now let's see what's happening around CONCACAF. In a friendly last night at Giant Stadium in East Rutherford, New Jersey, Jamaica and Ecuador played to a scoreless tie. The Reggae Boys have two wins and four ties in six friendlies this year. And that completes our brief trip around CONCACAF. Now it is time for today's CONCACAF quiz. Yesterday, we asked if you can name the player who scored both goals for Costa Rica in its 2-1 World Cup qualifying win over Honduras on February 11th of this year. Our thanks to everyone who replied. The correct answer is Andy Furtado. For today's question, how many goals have Honduras's Carlos Costly and Carlos Pavon scored between them in 2010 World Cup qualifying? If you think you know the answer, please send an email to video signals at concacaf.org by 12 p.m. New York time tomorrow. If you answer correctly, your name will be placed into a weekly contest. The winner will receive a prize from CONCACAF. Well, that's all for today. Thanks for joining us at Video Signals, your source for CONCACAF News.